James, J-A-M-E-S, Williams, W-I-L-L-I-A-M-S, Assistant Chief of Operations for Loudoun County Fire and Rescue. Sir, can you tell us what happened, please? Huh? Are you guys good? Yes. All right, this, after, uh, this evening at approximately 740, uh, fire and rescue units were dispatched to 347 Silver Ridge Place here in Sterling for an investigation. Uh, soon after arrival with firefighters inside, uh, the house did explode. Multiple maydays were transmitted as the incident was upgraded to a multiple alarm fire. We have transported nine firefighters, two civilians, and I'm sad to report there is one firefighter fatality. Units from Loudoun County Fire and Rescue, Sterling Volunteer Fire Company, which is part of the Loudoun County Combined Fire and Rescue System, Fairfax County Fire and Rescue, Metropolitan Washington Airports Authority, have all responded to assist on this fire. The fire is under investigation at this time, led by the Fire Marshal's Office of Loudoun County. They're supported in the investigation by Loudoun County Sheriff's Office, as well as the ATF. I am joined here by Mickey Buchanan, the Assistant Chief of the Sterling Volunteer Fire Company, as well as Vice Chair of our Board of Supervisors, Julie Briskman, who also serves as the Algon Algonquian District Supervisor. I'll take a very few questions. This sir, will people, only, sorry. This will be the only media briefing that we do. We are assembling a, um, a press release to put out uh, as soon as we can. I'll take just a few questions. People yeah. in the neighborhood told me that they smelled gas, and they also said that firefighters were responding to a gas leak. Can you confirm that? I cannot. I can confirm that the fire is under investigation at this time by our fire marshal's office. On the Sterling um, Fire Department Twitter, it stated that they were responding to a gas leak. Okay. I have not seen that um, Twitter, uh, Twitter feed. Okay. Thank you. How are you feeling right now that this is one of your firefighters? I appreciate the question. Uh, it is when I addressed the group of firefighters, I said this is the worst call that we can respond to, and this is a time where we need to support each other and hold each other up. We are in the process right now of making next of kin notifications, so the, the families are not uh, have not yet been contacted. Were the residents at the home board, were they there at the time? I don't factually know who was where. I know two civilians were transported. I do not have any further information to release about the You said that there were nine firefighters that were transported to the hospital. Can you tell us a little about their injuries? Um, the nine firefighters um, do have some serious injuries um, as well as uh, less severe injuries. I'm but sorry, they, sir. Uh, transported to multiple hospitals, local hospitals. I'm not going to identify which hospitals, but um, they range in, in severity from limited to more severe. Were, were any other homes affected? Uh, I don't factually know the answer to that. Have you cleared the scene yet? I noticed that you had firefighters searching through debris. We had Sky Fox up in the air on, on the ground. I mean, you know, showing that. Are you finished searching the debris? Is, is the scene clear? We have all firefighters out of the building. Uh, the fire uh, will continue to uh, smolder uh, mm -hmm. for an undetermined amount of time. It's still an active scene. Uh, and we'll be transitioning uh, at the appropriate time where the fire marshal's office can uh, really get into the house. I'll take two more questions. Chief, yes, sir. Could you kind of describe like the damage to the to the to the structure itself? Like how it like total devastation. Yeah. There's a debris field uh, well into uh, the street and into the neighboring homes. Chief, one, Chief, one more question. Sorry. We have a. We sorry. Go ahead. Sorry. Multiple firefighters were trapped. Can you talk to us a little bit about the effort to get them out and just the impact that it has on you as well as the other firefighters? Um, it, it's a huge physical and emotional toll um, on everyone associated with the fire department. Um, obviously, the people uh, who are trapped, uh, the rescuers that are going in uh, to to try and pull them out, the incident commander. Um, my peers throughout the region, it has impacted them. They've all reached out to me, and I appreciate all of them for doing that. So it is a, it's a great question. Um, this incident 
uh, will affect the entire fire service in the country. Sir, we, you, we, sir. we have a storm coming. What effect is that going to have on you all searching? I, I know you said one more question, but that's an important thing. So, a lot of people concerned about the snow question. and that this could have a, you know, a difficult, make your job that much more difficult as you search the debris, sir. This is a, going to be an extended scene yeah. complicated by the weather. So um, we will um, update, provide updates to our social media and uh, through additional press releases, uh, but there will be no more uh, formal uh, media briefing. Thank so. you, Chief, Thank for, you the, so for answering that last question.